Hey, what's happening guys? Last week we looked at my new scope. You can see it is the Siglin SDS 1052DL+. It is a simple 50 megahertz, 500 mega samples per second, two channel digital storage oscilloscope. Well, today we're going to take it apart and see what's inside. Okay, I've disconnected the power. And I know you guys probably can't really tell, but that is not a Phillips head screw. Looks like some sort of a uh, star point bit. Luckily, I have a collection of bits here. That appears to be the correct one. That is a T10. So, we will remove the screws and take the cover off. Okay, I got the four screws out. Now we'll remove the warranty void if removed thingy. Let's see if we can get the cover off. Kind of feels like I'm like I'm missing something here. Hmm, back in a moment. So the trick was you have to depress the power button, and then I used my iSesame spudger to pop it over the case. So that's done. I've removed all of the front panel knobs, which are just an interference fit. And just a few more screws to go. And we should be able to remove everything else. Alright, we've got the top shielding cover off. And you can see the universal power input over here. And we have grounding directly to the chassis. Down in here we've got a MOV, which is very nice. Power switch. There's a fuse, another MOV. Looks like good protection here. All these components are celastic in, so nothing is uh, bouncing around in the breeze. Very nice job with the power supply, I believe. All right, now we can look at the board here and see what our various components are. Let's zoom in here. And we'll take a look at this guy here first. This is the Altera Cyclone 4. That's, of course, an FPGA. That's the G series. So that has uh, up to eight integrated 3.1 gigahertz transceivers in it. Next, over here, we have the Altera Max 5, which I believe is a microprocessor. Actually, it's a complex programmable logic device. And then we move over here. That guy there is a Texas Instruments chip. And what is it? That's a microprocessor. Uh, CAN bus, Ethernet, I squared C, SPI, UART. 32K of cache space. It's an MPU AM335X. It's a RISC processor. Okay, very good. Then we have this guy right here, which is from Micron. That's a 2 gigabyte NAND chip. And then we have our 1 gigabyte flash memory there. If we come over here and look you can see the all of our BNC connections come into this little shielded case here. Then we have our front end here with some op amps and some relays, various switching. And this right here is a 10 pin header which might be useful for some hacking. This is our Ethernet connector, external swig, external swigger, trigger, external trigger. 
There's another jumper that could be useful for hacking. And finally, our USB connector. And that's a beeper. Now, one thing that I don't like about this configuration, and that is there is no shielding between the power supply and the main logic board. It's all in one. I haven't noticed any problems with it, but I would prefer to see some sort of shielding between here, especially some sort of RF shielding. You never know. But again, this is a scope built to a price for the average consumer. Well, there she is all put back together, nice and happy. Picking up the one kilohertz square signal from there, and I'm putting it as close to a one kilohertz triangle wave from my old uh, GWS Instec function generator there, but it ain't exactly 1K, it doesn't, it don't play like that. So I can't exactly get them to sync up, but you get the idea. Anyway, that's it for this teardown. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.